Hello everyone, my name is Fitterspace, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get through the exchange in 007 Nightfire. So, I already mentioned this in my optimal movement video, that the fastest way to move is by holding top left or top right on the control stick and using your C stick to correct your angle. So we're going to be using that a lot in this game. So, first thing you want to do when you spawn is you want to turn a little bit to the right, like that, and then move forward uh, by holding the control stick to the left. You just want to run past all of these bad guys, it doesn't matter. They're not going to hurt you very much. Like the most they're going to do is take off like one or two bars. If they take off more than that, I would say just go ahead and like reset since it's the first level. So to get through this second section quickly, uh, what you want to do you want to turn to the right like we did before and move up left like this so you're going to be back here all these guys see me but it doesn't matter you want to go up left now i didn't mention this in my optimal movement video but the fastest way to move upstairs is by mashing y to jump up them so once you get to some stairs like this you know you're strafing along them don't just move up the stairs what you want to do is you want to jump up the stairs. So you mash Y while you're going upstairs. You save a little bit of time by doing that. This set of stairs is really small though, but there are other sets of stairs uh, in different parts of the game that are really tall. It saves a little bit of time. So I'm going to show this one more time. So you go left like this, go up these stairs, and mash Y. Just run right past those guys. Run past this guy, and go up these stairs. Now I'm going to make a safe state right here, because this is a little complicated. So there, there are these searchlights right here, and if they see you, then a bunch of bad guys come out up here and start shooting at you. And they also get in your way too. So what you want to do to avoid those, this first one is usually going to spawn like right over there, just like where it's at right now. And you want to get on this railing right here, and this thing is raised up a little bit. You want to get on that. You can see I'm not standing on the ground right now. If you're standing on this, the searchlight doesn't see you. You see that it was like right on me, but it was just barely, like it just barely didn't see me. You see that? So it doesn't see you. So the bad guys don't come out from over here. I'm going to show that again. While you're on this railing, you want to hold up left while you're kind of facing the wall at a 45 degree angle. That's the fastest way to move along this. So at full speed it's going to go like this. Those snipers may hit you, but as long as they don't do too much damage to you, then it's fine. But once you come through here, press Y to get up those stairs quickly. Even though they're small stairs, it's fine. Mash Y to get up here. So I'm going to show that whole section one more time. So you go here, you go up these stairs, mash Y to get up them. Notice that I'm holding up left the entire time. So I didn't get hit by those snipers, that's really good. And that's the second section of the level, it's really easy. So this is the third section of the level right here. And what you want to do is, again, hold up left and just go along this like red carpet right here. So I'm using the C-stick to correct my angle. And that's, like I said, that's the easiest way to move through this game. So now you want to go up these stairs and go around here. We need to go in this door. So after this cutscene, this is where the route diverges. You can either do a glitch on this bookshelf to get to the final door over there, or you can not do the glitch. I think doing the glitch is easier and it's faster. Well, it's probably not easier, but it's definitely faster. Uh, but I'm going to show both of them just in case you don't want to do the glitch. But I'm going to show the glitch first. I'm going to make a save state here because I want to show this multiple times. So I already have a video on how to do wall clipping. But basically we're going to use this bookshelf to clip out of bounds and go over here. That's, uh, that's the final door for the section. 
So you want to be crouching. You want to have nothing in your hands. So like right here, I have my stunner or whatever. So you want to press B to get rid of that. Uh, at least it's B for my control scheme. Yours may be different, but uh, so I, I press B to get rid of the weapon or the, the gadget. So you want to go up to the bookshelf like this and take a little step back. So you don't want to be completely against it. So I like to look at these like green books right here. There's this one that turned over right there. I look like right around here. It doesn't really matter where you look. It's just your angle that matters. <clears throat> so you take a little step back. And what we're going to do is we're going to move forward into the bookshelf, uncrouch, and pull out a gadget at the exact same time. So we move forward, press X to uncrouch, and then press right on the D-pad at the same time. So here we go. Just like that. So this is an example of messing the trick up. You can see nothing happened. So we're going to try that again. Now, after you press X and right D-pad, you want to be holding forward the entire time. I'm going to hold forward the whole time, then press those two buttons. So here we go. So now you can see that I didn't like go up. I'm still like exactly where I was. I'm still holding forward. And right here, if you press X, you're going to fall straight out of bounds. And you want to get right here. You want to go th straight through that wall. I already have a more detailed video on clipping. Oh. Yeah. So I'm not going to go too in depth about this because there's clipping in every level and it's, it would take way too long to explain for every video. But you want to move up to the wall and press right D-pad to get out your stunner or whatever. Then uncrouch into the wall, into the, like this shelf right here while holding up. So you can see now, um, if you mess it up, like if you, uh, if you mess it up, you'll, you see I'm like way taller. I'm looking at these green books right here. But if I get it right, you see I'm like looking at the shelf right now. See, that's where I was looking, but now I'm looking down here. And you just press X again to fall through. Now, sometimes you fall into the void like this. Uh, if you fall into the void like this for too long and you touch the ground, you die. So you want to make sure that you're not in the void for too long. So you do the glitch. Press X to go out of bounds. Press Y to uncrouch. Or you can press X again. And then just try to get through that wall as quickly as you can. I'm going to do it one more time. I pressed X to uncrouch there. Just go and get through that wall as quickly as you can. So once you do that, you just go up these stairs and go to that door. And so there you go. So now I'm going to show you how to do that without doing the glitch, if you don't want to do that. So right here is about where you'd be. What you want to do is you just want to go through this door. You want to go back out, go down the stairs again. And then go through this door. So hold, uh, not hold A, but mash A to skip that cutscene. And go around here and go through this door. There are going to be a bunch of bad guys here, but you don't have to worry about them. You can just shoot at them a bunch of times. They're not going to kill you. The so mash Y to go up the stairs faster. You can kill that guy if you want. Or you can just go through this door. And then there's the final door right there. That's really, really easy. Like, you don't even have to kill any of those guys. They're not going to kill you. I'm going to make another save state here. And what you want to do is you just want to activate this cutscene. So there's two ways to get out here. You can go through this door, or you can go through this window. The window is faster, so that's what we're going to do. Jump into the window, and you see that there's two snow guards right here. And then there are two other uh, snow guards down here. Well, these aren't really snow guards, I guess, but uh, what you want to do, you either want, you can kill these guys if you want to. Uh, if you don't, they can block this door and get in your way. But what you want to do, as soon as you jump out the window like this, 
we want to jump off of this and land in front of that door like this you don't don't actually jump but did you see how i landed like on this corner right there that edge i'm gonna do that again i should make a safe state after this cutscene is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show this multiple times uh you if you fall off right here see you're gonna take a little bit more fall damage but if you fall if you go down here you see i'm lower than i was when i was up there so you take less fall damage so it's a little tiny tiny bit slower to go all the way down here and then fall down but you take less fall damage so that's what i do like right now i have green health which i mean so i shouldn't be concerned about fall damage but let's say you know those snipers earlier in the level hit you a bunch of times and you know you just got you took a bunch of damage so doing that will help reduce fall damage and that thing that I was talking about about the corner you can land on this very top edge of the door and take less fall damage it's I mean there, I don't think there's really a consistent way to do it you just kind of go for it like that you see I landed on that um, it's not really something I can explain too well to go down it wastes a lot of time that well Probably not a lot of time. It doesn't waste too much time, but it does waste time to land up here because you know you got to back up to go down. Then you got to reopen the door right there. So you want to kill these two guys right here. Well, you don't have to, but it's a little bit easier. If you do so. You kill those guys, then go down, or you can kill the guys while you're going down, like this then go down like this so both of those guys are dead yeah now these two guys right here you can just completely ignore them and go up the stairs right here and while you're going up the stairs you want to pull out your laser i'm going to go back because they they actually took a lot of damage off of me oh man uh, while you're going out the window like this you should reload that's something i didn't do so you want to kill those guys, reload here, get out your laser, mash Y to go up the stairs. So I'm just going to kill these guys just so they don't get in my way. So what you want to do, actually I should reload too. You don't have to shoot those guys, I'm just shooting them for the video. Um, so when you get up the stairs right here, while you're going up the stairs you want to press A to open this. We need to use our laser on this to, uh, to open that door. So you use the laser here and just press R to use the laser. So you come up here, you open that. You just do that a bunch of times like this and you'll get the laser. You'll uh, you'll hit the circuit right here. So then you pull out your gun, shoot those guys. There's some armor right here. Um, this is all, there's a lot of information right here so I'm going to show this one more time. So you go down there, kill those guys, pull out your laser, mash Y to get up the stairs faster, go for this armor immediately and kill those two guys. I'm just going to close that door. So you don't actually have to close that door, but now you want to use your laser on these hinges. So after you use the laser on the first hinge, you want to press X to crouch. So you're right in front of the second hinge. What I see a lot of people do is I see a lot of people go down like that to hit the next hinge. Or they stand like further away so that they can move their cursor faster like that. But it's way faster to just crouch like that. So you get the book, uh, not the book, the, uh, the briefcase and the sentinel you go out. So you can either take the stairs down or if you have a lot of health. And armor doesn't go over your health by the way, you see. That fall damage took away my health, not my armor. So armor absorbs like bullets, but it doesn't absorb fall damage. So take that into consideration. If you have red health, but you have armor, then don't jump here because you might die. You see my armor's not going down, but my health is. So just keep that in mind whenever you're like doing a bunch of jumps like this, that armor doesn't absorb fall damage. I'm going to show this one more time. I should reload before that. So pull out the laser. 
go for the armor. Use the laser on the hinges. Get the briefcase and the sentinel. So this can happen. I didn't kill one of the guards. But did you see how he like opened the door like that? While he's doing that, you can't get out this door. Let me actually do this again. I won't kill those guys. Alright, so... I'm also going to close the door. So watch what happens here. If he's ever going to open the door. You see, you can't get out Like while he's in that animation. It's only a little tiny... like it, It's a fraction of a second, but he blocks your way. So... That's a little time loss if that happens. So that's why, while I'm coming down here, just take a little bit of time out kill those guys. It shouldn't take you that many, that, that long to kill those guys. So you see that was kind of slow. So kill both of those guys. Use the laser on the hinges here. And then go out the door like this. So I'm going to make another safe state here. So instead of going through this door, we don't want to go through this door. We want to go around here and land on this railing again, just like before. You know how we jumped on the railing right here and jump on this railing, go around here and land in the cable car. You don't need to worry about these snow guards. Uh, they're probably not going to kill you unless you have really low health and low armor. Or if you're playing on double O agent. So you want to get out your sentinel right here and set it to unguided. Now, you want to look right here and just shoot the missiles the way I did right there. And that should complete the mission if you do that right. So I'm going to show that again. You can pick up that armor. I didn't actually mean to do that, but you can pick up that armor if you're low on armor. You want to get out the sentinel, switch it to unguided, and aim right around here. It doesn't really matter too much, it's not too specific. So as soon as the cutscene starts, one, two, shoot the missiles. You wait like you know, like a second, maybe two seconds, and then start shooting the missiles the way I just did right there. I'm going to show the whole level at full speed one more time. I'm going to show the whole level again. So turn right, hold up left. You can kill that guy if you want to. Uh, like I said earlier, they're not going to take very much damage off of you. You just keep holding up left. Once you get that angle, you know, just hold up left. Press A to go through the door. Turn right. Mash Y to go upstairs. Uh, jumping doesn't make you move any faster, but uh, sometimes it can make the enemies miss you if they're shooting at you. So if you're getting shot by enemies a lot, you know, it might be a good idea to jump. So to just repeatedly jump so that they miss you more often. But it doesn't actually make you move any faster. 007. The guests won't take kindly to firearms. So this is actually a pretty short level compared to a lot of, a lot of levels in this game, but uh, but it is a pretty complicated level. I'll say that. Bond, head for the stairs. Drake's about to address his guests in the grand ballroom. I'm gonna do the glitch. You want to go up to here, 
clip straight through. I'm going to kill these guys. I'm going to go upstairs. Oh man, they actually took a lot of damage off of me. Go straight for the armor. My game is slowing down. I'm going to jump over here onto this railing. I'm gonna jump onto that railing. I'm gonna land straight in there. You just get out the sentinel. S switch it to unguided. Make sure you do that. Then just aim right around here. One, two, shoot. And there you go. So it's a pretty fast mission, actually. Even though there's a lot to it, you know. Let's see, that was a 235. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to help you out.